Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today is uh, part one of a two-part video of us designing and building a bumper for my personal 2007 uh, Jeep Wrangler. Uh, I guess design is the wrong term as in we didn't design this bumper at all. There is a company named Madden USA, M-A-D-D-E-N USA. I'll have the web address at the end of the video that sells just the DXF files for a bunch of different makes and models of bumpers, Toyota, Jeep, Dodge, Ford, Chevy. And uh, we, this is our first attempt at one of their products, one of their DXF products, and uh, I'll have to tell you, very, very pleased with the outcome. Uh, the DXF files flowed very well right into Fusion 360, just as a sketch and inserting uh, each individual part. Uh, as you see right here, we have actually a box that we're putting these parts in. And what that actually represents is we had a 4x4 sheet of 3 hot rolled steel that we were working with that actually had some stuff cut out. If you look up in the upper right hand corner, that's what is uh, construction lined out. The triangular cutout right there is from uh, a different project. So we weren't able to actually fit all of the Jeep bumper on this 4x4 sheet. Uh, you'll see us later on, see if we can't fit the piece that we had to leave out, which was the winch plate. Uh, we did kind of position it to see if we did have that upper right hand corner, if we could indeed fit everything, and we can. So it's nice to know that you can build one short Jeep bumper out of a 4x4 sheet of 316s. As we continue on here nesting all these parts in whichever way they're going to fit, uh, you'll notice that some of these parts have actually just a straight line across them. And what that is is actually a relief cut that the designer is actually right there above those three holes. Is a, That's one of the parts that has a relief cut because that particular part has to be bent 90 degrees. And bending 3 16 is not to be done by hand, at least not in that width. But with that relief cut, it can be bent by, uh, I'd say hand, but you're talking more like two crescent wrenches and some clamps or uh, maybe some vice grips or channel locks. Uh, but it was uh, bent very nicely. We actually used our sheet metal brake for it and it worked very, very well. Very pleased with uh, some of the things that the uh, DXF designer here, Madden USA, uh, included in this. Uh, there's also a template up there in the upper left, right there, I'm picking it up right there. That's actually a template that you'll see in part two of our video that we actually tacked on to the first panels of the bumper to align all the angles right. And again, it is a very nice touch since uh, you're not welding this on the vehicle and getting the, it takes a lot of the guesswork on making sure it's being built, welded together as designed. And right there is the omitted part for this particular cut. That was a winch plate. Uh, but this whole bumper will fit on a 4x4 piece of 3 16 As we move along extruding the different parts and setting up for cut profiles, I'll touch a little bit on one thing that we found out. It'll be highlighted here soon, right now actually is those are the relief cuts for the bent parts and once you extrude the pieces that the program won't pick up those lines for the relief cuts so we actually had to create one profile without extruding any parts just for the relief cuts go back extrude the parts and then create the second cut profile so we can get the relief cuts as well as obviously cutting out the entire bumper as we finish up setting up our different cut profiles we'll move on to the actual cutting process and here we are over at the old Etch-a-Sketch 4000 and we're cutting uh, one of the pieces that had one of uh, those relief cuts in it and a keen eye will notice that I put the cut profiles in backwards so it actually cut everything out before it cut the relief cuts uh, one thing I wanted to point out is not all hope is lost. As long as you leave the parts in, 
where they're at, don't move anything on the table, and as long as the computer has tracked all the movements from zero on the CNC table, is you can very easily just go back and cut each relief cut in this case and there'll be nothing wrong with it whatsoever just kind of a, a gee whiz don't get frustrated if you're operating a table and something doesn't go quite the way uh, you, you wanted it to is as long as everything stays where it was when the cut started and none of the uh, nothing's moved or the table hasn't lost zero or anything is you usually can go back and sell it. And here we go, cutting those relief cuts even now. I put a magnet in there so I wouldn't lightsaber my finger off. Obviously I went to go stick my finger in there to see if I can get a lightsabered off. But everything worked really well, uh, even though the cut profiles are in the wrong order. Uh, everything turned out, as you'll see later on in the second part, uh, everything bent up real nice and it wasn't out of whack or anything like that. And as we finish up part one of this video and pull these parts off the table, I'd like to say thanks for tuning in and watching the video. And remember, if you're in the market for DXL files of any off-road type bumpers, uh, go check out Madden USA, M-A-D-D-E-N hyphen USA dot com. See if they have anything you'd like.